Hey, what's up, sports bettors? It's uh, Matt Modi with Dodge Jam, and what we're gonna do in this video, we're just gonna bet some baseball. Uh, so do a recap. So to do a recap from yesterday first, pretty rough day yesterday. Went one and three on my picks. Was down about 120 in profit. I was able to hit the Twins money line, but the Rangers lost, my player prop lost, and my yes run first inning lost as well. So overall, pretty rough day. Still up about 250 total, specifically with my baseball bets, only about a 3.7% ROI, which isn't great, but it's better than nothing. At least we are making a profit. Um, and for baseball, I get all my picks using the OddsJam positive expected value page. Uh, before I get into it, I would appreciate if you could like the video, comment, let me know your feedback, whether you're tailing or you're fading. And then of course, if you could subscribe to the OddsJam YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to find me, myself, my name is Matt Modai. Again, I'm a content producer and betting analyst for Ajian. And if you want to find me on Twitter, you can hit me up at my Twitter handle on the screen here, Modai underscore Matt. TikTok, Ajian Matt. On other social media platforms, Ajian Matt. So for baseball, I still have been struggling. I, you know, I found a strategy that had been working for a couple days. I got this, my negative profit, my loss from minus 1600 down to about 900. So I had gained 700 in profit doing my new strategy of money line bets of player props and maybe sprinkling in the occasional yes or no run first inning um of course it's back down to minus 1600 i had a bad day yesterday both with my bets on this video and also i took some public or excuse me some bets that i uh, wasn't on a youtube video that didn't do so hot so still working out a baseball strategy still testing some things so bear with me here overall Despite the down day yesterday, I have still had good luck specifically with money line bets. So the first thing I'm gonna do again is control F money line. Now it doesn't look like there are any here. There is no money line here, as you can see. I do have it. Um, I do I did control find it, but there's nothing there. Uh, the next one I'm gonna try doing so the yes uh, run first inning props where I've had the worst, the least amount of success was specifically on FanDuel. So uh, this one over 5% ROI, or excuse me, over 5% of your profit margin. The odds jam line has it at minus 114. The uh, odd, the uh, no vig odds have this at minus 105. So this is a pretty good positive expected value play in terms of just value. Uh, so let me open it up in a new tab, see where all the other markets are pricing it at. So I know DraftKings and MGM have it at plus 105. I wanna compare it to all the other markets. So odds jam, we know has it at minus 114, which is the sharpest line in the world. Looks like Bet Rivers and Caesars have it closer to the odds jam line. Looks like the odds also changed here. Now DraftKings and FanDuel have it at even money. So the plus 105 is, a, is still a pretty decent outlier. Um, it's not a great discrepancy, so I'm not gonna five unit McSlam it or anything like that, but I will put a three unit bet on this one. Cubs, excuse me, Cardinals over, yes, first run inning. So over 0.5 innings runs in the first inning, sorry. Um, so this will be a 75 dollar play, place bet. So we are good to go here. This is gonna be my first bet placed. So now I just need to add this to my bet tracker, 75 bucks, click save. Perfect, good to go there. So let's try again, see if there's a money line play. Nope, no luck, no money line play, unfortunately. Um, so scrolling through it, the next one that I've, um, the next prop that I've had some success on are pitcher props. Now, I need to do a little bit more research into pitcher props than I do other plays. Like I look at trends, I look at projections, all that stuff. Um, but the first thing I like for a player prop is to have the market width below 40 cents. So this one at 42 isn't ideal. Let me open it up in a new tab and just see where all the markets are pricing it at. And if all three boxes are checked in terms of discrepancy, trends, and um, projections, then I will go ahead and lock this one in for a small two unit play. But it was Madison Bumgarner over five and a half strikeouts. So right off the bat, I mean, this is pretty awesome. The Aj Dam line has it at plus 121. Every other book has it significantly closer to the Aj Dam line, significantly closer. Uh, plus 126 on Caesars, plus 120 on DraftKings. Points bet has it even lower at plus 105. Points bet actually has this prop priced at over four and a half as opposed to five and a half. So this plus 150 is a pretty awesome outlier. So that's box number one checked. Now let's just look at his trends. And I just wanna see how his strikeouts have been performing recently. So not ideal, looks like he's only gone over uh, the five and a half strikeouts twice. And looks like these are his last 10 starts. Uh, two of his last four, which is pretty good. 
Now, uh, the next thing I want to look up are just uh, the stats in terms of Phillies strikeouts. How often do the Phillies strike out? Because that's who he's playing. He's playing the Philadelphia Phillies. So that's the next bit of research I like to do. So the Phillies are actually pretty decent in terms of strikeouts. They have the fourth best strikeout rate, meaning they strike out the fourth least amount in the MLB, which is pretty good. So now, um, so I'm going to go ahead and sit this one out. You know, the over five and a half, it wasn't enough value. I took one yesterday where it was plus EV at the time. It was a discrepancy, but because the trends weren't uh, weren't on my side, it ended up not beating closing line. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this one out. Let me refresh, let me again look for a money line play. Oh, it looks like there is not one, Never mind. So now I just have the one play. I just have the yes run first inning in the Cardinals versus Reds. Um, the next thing that I've been uh, testing out in baseball is specifically taking bets that have market width of 15 cents or below. 15 cents is generally the, mix, the quote unquote McSlam range. That's where I'm willing to bet up to 5% of my bankroll on anything that is 15 or below. Um, of course, I still wanna do a little bit more research in terms of the odds. So this play, first half total runs under four and a half in the Padres versus Rockies game. So Bet Rivers has this at minus 107. The odds jam line has it at minus 120. Looks like DraftKings and BetMGM have it also at minus 120 with FanDuel, Caesars, and PointsBet kind of having it in the middle. So this is this minus 107 is an outlier. This is um, a pretty good discrepancy on BetRivers. So I'm not going to put the full five unit max on this one because it's not a true discrepancy um, because there are some that have it a little bit in the middle, but I will put four units on this one. So this will be a $100 bet for me. So I just need to go to innings. Uh, first five total runs, first five innings under four and a half. This will be a hundred dollar bet for me, hundred bucks place bet. So, this is the second bet that I placed on this video. So, let me just uh, add this to my bet tracker hundred bucks, click save, and we are good to go there. So, that is my second bet. So, now let me refresh and let's just look for any market width below 15 cents. That's kind of the process of how I go about identifying good bets to place. So, here's one for 12. Houston Astro, <coughs> excuse me, Houston Astros run line minus two. Again, this one is on Bet Rivers. So let me just look at the lines here. Minus two Astros. Yeah, this one isn't enough of an outlier. Bet Rivers has it at plus 104. Caesars at plus 100. And Ajdam has it at minus 106. So I don't like when there's only other one book that has odds and the odds are closer to the Astros line. So this one I'm going to avoid. There's this next one here. First half runs another under. Uh, this one is in the Rockies, excuse me, the Guardians versus Athletics game. The first one was in the Rockies game. So same thing here. I'm going to look at the under four and see what it's like. And this is pretty good. This is almost exactly what we're looking for. Uh, looks like some books like uh, Bet Rivers and Fanduel actually price this at three and a half. Obviously, you know, pretty heavily juiced towards the over, but still under this under four amount. Whereas every other book except for Points Bet, the Ajem line has it at minus one seventeen. DraftKings at minus 120, which is worse than the IGM line. MGM also at minus 120, which is worse than the uh, IGM line. So this minus 105 is a true discrepancy. This, this one is something I'm willing to put the full five unit McSlam on. So I need to go to the Guardians game and I'll put the full five unit McSlam on this under. So here we have it. First five innings, total runs under four, minus, um, one and a half, minus 105 odds. So this will be the full five unit McSlam on this one. 125 on this one perfect so this will be the third bet that i've placed so this was 125 added to my bet tracker so click save here again i'll do a refresh and if i can't find another money line bet um then i'll just go ahead and and scurry on out of here as opposed to keep searching through so last last chance money line nope nothing here so i got three bets total for you guys let me just do a little bit of a recap so i have yes run first inning in the cardinals versus reds i have the under four and a half uh, first five inning runs in the Padres versus Rockies. And I have the same thing, first half total runs under, which is again, first half equals first five innings under uh, four minus 105 odds on Caesars. So if you're tailing these bets, I would love to hear it. I will add them to the spreadsheet. I'll do a recap next time I do a video. Uh, but again, if you're tailing, let me know. You can hit me up at my Twitter handle on the screen here. Let me know you're tailing. Uh, of course, you can comment on the video. Let me know you're tailing that way. Other than that, I would appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. But as far as this video goes, that is all I got for you. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one.